Ladies and gentlemen, right in the building. Ana kucheka shaka sana pale kwenye social media, labda kwenye Instagram, labda kwenye TikTok umemuona Facebook. Akuku danger mwenyewe in the house ladies and gentlemen. Mambo vipi? Ni kupoa sana. Uh-huh. Eh kwanza umekosa kuambia the Justin Bieber of Kenya. Oh sorry, sorry, sorry. Eh, anza, anza na huko. Justin Bieber of wa Kenya. Ni wewe? Ndio huyo mimi. Kwa nini wewe ndio Justin Bieber wa Kenya? Auoni tukifanana. <laughs> Hatujaachana sana. <laughs> Justin Bieber. Hatujaachana sana. Tumeachana kidogo tu, kidogo tu. <laughs> Mfuko tuko pale. Uko hapa na hapa. Mavazi pale. Sako kwa babu. Bas, tofauti ni kidogo sana. Angalia, uh-huh. show kwenye BTV uangalie live ingia kwenye Facebook page ya Esther Mwenye Masharia. Na kulizaja kukudenja? Yes. Ni ukweli wewe unatoka katika familia ya the late Akuku Denja, the grand. Bas, the great. The, yeah, the great, great Akuku Denja. Bas. So I'm the grandson. You are the grandson. Eh, yeah, what wana fikiri anga hii kitu ni story tu eh nilichukua jina nitumie eh. stage pale nichekeshe nayo no that is my grandfather that was my grandfather wewe unanambiwa ni mpiku namba ngapi 1697 out of 6222 acha gai muko jukumi 1600 yes we are 6222 1600 yes wewe ni wa 1000 na 1000 eh 1697 Muko na ID kwa nyama mko yani mali kwa makio kwamba wewe ukizaliwa mji uko unapewa yako unapewa card. Waje nikwambie do you know yeah. ilifika mahali guka yangu watoto wake walikuwa wanafukuzwa fee. Mm. Alafu sasa wengine wakaamua ah si ni opportunity huu muta hizi jo watoto wake wote. Yeah, yeah. Wacha hata sisi tuende tumwambie tumefukuzwa fee. So unapata the end of the day kuna wenye walikuwa wanadanganya mpaka na walipia fee. So akasema ah hawa wengine si watoto wangu. Eh, eh. From there guka yangu akaamua tunazima tukiwa na kitabu kila mtu jina yake kwa hiyo kitabu na kila mtu akona ID ya ID na ID yes. ID kama hii ya Kenya sasa sasa achana hiyo ya Kenya sasa si pia tuko na yetu sasa ile yetu ukiangalia hivi <laughs> sasa yetu lazima kuna jina yako inaandikwa jina yako ukweli which house you're from kwa watu wangapi so ukiingia kwa gate hivi lazima uoneshane useme mimi ni grandson wa kuku danger watakuliza eh hey, letter ID kuna masoja yes kuna mabouncers who are also part of our family Everybody is part of Every, your family. I wear guy. Okay. Yes. Kwa hivyo family yetu tuko na all the professions actually. Because mm-hmm. you have your own community. Yes. The, a, a community ya kukudenja. Ni kama kia kukudenja tu fulani ki south si fulani. Huwa ni pande gani pale? Mm-hmm. Pale nyumbani ni wapi? Uh, pale side za Migori. Uko. Migori. Yes. Kuna mm-hmm. kijiji cha akukudenja. So kuna tu kijiji tu chetu tu mahali ya akukudenja. Eh hey, inaitwa kwa bwae hiyo kwa bwae eh lazima leo nikufundishe kija kama muende nikufundishe mahali inaitwa aura chuodho aura chuodho bas now that is our center that is your center yes now at aura chuodho almost everything ni kama yetu sasa utapata kuku posho mila kuku buchari kuku tailoring kuku ni juu kila mtu biashara iko hapo hivyo ni either aunt yango ama my uncle ama my kuzo kila mtu so it's not like um ati kimezungukwa hivi na fans hicho kijiji ni kama south sea Okay. literally okay. Eh, literally tuseme sasa uko uko kote ni kwenu uko sote eh, zoni kiingia hapo hivyo kila mtu mtu wa mtu rani mtu wenu utapata mtu wa retail shop ni mtu wenu umeniambia ni mama ndio alikuwa mtoto yes wa kukudenja mama ama nyanya uh, mamangu mamangu ndio mtoto wa kukudenja mamako yes mamako ambaye amechoka mm. kwa uh, nyumba ya number 42 yes thank you eh, eh, my grandmother is now number 42 manake wives now walikuwa 264 264 yes so your your, your grandmother was the no. 42nd wife yes out of the 264 yes sisi tuko wengi muende kule Roger, uh-huh. do, 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 do you know everyone wewe Sijui sasa watu wote but at least uh, sasa hizi ndio Facebook imesaidia vitu mingi sana because sasa hizi ndio mtu anaweza kuinbox pale kwambi yo bro wewe pia ni wa kuku danger ya ukweli nimwambie eh bali mimi ni wenu so akikuja pale ndio naweza angalia vitu kuna vitu akiniambia ndio nitajua ah huyu ni wetu ah wacha wewe <laughs> that's how it is kwanza hata my events nikienda eh, eh. unapata nime perform kurudi back stage hivi utasikia mtu ametoka kwa audience amekuja pale ya kuku kuna mtu anataka kukuona unaenda eh, nakuambia ah eh. wewe ni wa kuku danger wa ukweli eh. basi wewe kazini yangu then from there sasa ndio kuna vitu akikwambia sema huyu ni wetu hiyo maisha ilikuaje ku grow up sasa mko watoto kama wote adhin mko umeona jukumu wa mko 6000 kufikia sasa hata unajua jukua endelea kuongeza kuongezeka alafu my wife ni wengi hivyo life ilikuaje life was nice mwende ah life ilikuwa poa kwanza shule wacha kwanza nikwambie shule we had our school In fact mimi nilienda hiyo shule ni babu ameanzisha ni ya babu eh ya babu eh eh ya babu eh kiswahili jamani so hii shule 
Eh, eh, eh. Issue leo nimeenda mpaka class 1. Mm. What was funny during our school days was unapata mwalimu mwenye anakufundisha kwa classes either your father or your mom ama it's your uncle. Anakuchapa shule kama mza, uh, kama mwalimu kirudi nyumbani anakuchapa kama mzazi. <laughs> so, t- unapata asubuhi <laughs> Ah, Asubuhi anakuuliza why didn't you do your assignment? Unamwambia mwalimu yesterday my father was watching TV and my other siblings were also watching TV so I didn't get time. Anakuchapa. Unarudi nyumba na yeye ndio ulikuwa na watch that TV. Unarudi nyumbani unasikia wewe ndio unatangazia watu tuko na TV. Now watu cousins ago. Now ni my cousins, yes. This is the most interesting interview I think I'll ever do. Anaya kwa kukudenja ni comedian wewe unamuona pale kuna ile yake ilienda viral sana mwende walikufanya nini ah, mwikali walikufanya hey, nini hey, kina ndanu mbipi hey. kina mweni hey. Hey, wa, una imagine nilitumiwa hey. na watu wangapi hey. una imagine nilitumiwa <laughs> Hivyo hivyo ni songa sana. Niliona watu wakatagu wa mwende wengi sana hapo. <laughs> But no it's because I love Kamba ladies. Oh you do? I do love Kamba ladies. Hey. Mm, sana. Kwa mm. sababu gani? Mm. Kwa sababu mm. gani jamani mm. ya kukudenja? Gine ne, gine ne. Gine ne. Adalia, anakuja tueleze nini wa inspire hapo mimi zake. Hivyo nini hiyo skits ambazo anazifanya. Anafikisha nini hiyo corona period. How has it been? Kuna clip juzi litembea sana ya kuonesha wewe uh-huh. ukiwa unafukuzwa kwa nyumba. Mjaluo f- f- instead ya kutangaza ati nimefukuzwa nyumba fadhali niishi hata kwa manyata. <laughs> Siku fukuzwa nyumba hiyo video. Hiyo video ilikuwa na Karil bwana wewe kuku bwana. Ai bwana wewe eh? ilikuwa na Karil. Unasema ni kama nilifukuza hiyo kweli. <laughs> Au ulifukuzwa maana nilipenda pale ulifukuza safu uh-huh. kwa vile mtu akipatikana na ngori uh-huh. simu sasa uh-huh. watakupiga imaginary phone calls. <laughs> Atunasema kuka denge, kukudenja Jina uh-huh. lipewa nani? Jina hiyo Danger Cecil alipewa na wanaume wenzake. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, his official name is Ancentus Ogwela Akuku. Uh-huh. Mm, unaweza <laughs> Ancentus Ogwela Akuku. Eh uh-huh. sasa Danger Danger ni wakaona anaongeza bibi moja, mbili, tatu. Moja. Was he taking was he taking wives kutoka kwa wanaume wengine? Mm-hmm. No. Actually madem ndio walikuwa nampenda. Madem ndio walikuwa nampenda. Do you know Guka yangu imagine kama I think the first maybe five wives ndio maybe aliwakatia ili officially yeah. na kupenda that, you, you'll be one and only hizo hizo alisema lakini after that sasa ilikuwa ni through referrals ah. eh <laughs> Ange katia msichana for example <laughs> uh-huh. ni kama ni kama akuja kukatia kama muende uh-huh. alafu wewe urudi pale nyumbani useme eh kama yule mtu amenitreat hivi vizuri na niko na wadada zangu hapa hivi sembuse Situeleni. Ah, so that is how it used to happen. Zunga so, pata ngeo kama muende, eh. muende arudi na mweni, eh na ziendelee hivyo. So that's how it used to happen. Nakuliza, is it the same for you? Ah, uh, hey, Nairobi. <laughs> Nairobi. <laughs> Utoi wapi nguvu hiyo Nairobi hapa? Eh? Wanaanga wakufuati? Wapi? Ah, wa, wapi? Wao yeah. ufungi ni nio vile baba yeah. wakuku alikuwa anafunga wewe. Eh yeah, scarf eh. Yeah. Ama ya maybe inafanya hata mimi nianze kuvaa scarf. Maana yake unaniambia yeah. kwa kwa wewe una find it odd uh-huh. mtu kuoa mwanamke mmoja. It's true because mimi sasa nime grow up my uncles naona my uncles ni wives wawili, watatu, watano. Mm. Eh kwa uh, kuna mwenye kuna 12, kuna mwenye kuna 15 wives. Mm. So you see that was the normal I grew up in. Hiyo mm. ndio normal naangalia pale nasema ah eh. Hey. So kutoka huko naona watu wako na bibi mmoja 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 that is now abnormal. That is abnormal. Normal. Yes. Wewe mwenyewe unapanga kuwa na wangapi? Hey. Kama ujaanza. Hey. Nishachelewa. Nishachelewa jua at my age gukali already alikuwa 30 something. Ngoja. Yeah. Hey. So unachukua mmoja ama Naona nitabaki na moja. Nitabaki moja. Kwani nitabaki na moja. Covid imekupiga wewe. Hii Covid si mchezo. Hii Covid umeona vinyi kwanza kwa nyumba saa hizi hata unamka asubuhi ni uji ya wimbi, lunch, terere, supper time. Hata nyumba itself inaweza kukuangalia kuulize kwani hii ni herbal clinic. Covid imeharibu kila kitu. Eh? Mimi nasema kwamba ingekuwa si Covid umekuwa si huko. Ah, inge kama si Covid. Sasa hizi the thing nilikuwa nacheza eh tano hapo eh. Eh utafuta wenye unawapenda and then settle down. That's So, yeah mwanaume i normally say that hata ukiangalia men should not cheat mm. Mm. Eh, eh. don't cheat and men don't actually cheat mm. eh, just find two or three uh, women that you like settle down with them mm. It, it's easy that way haita kusumbua vitu mingi madem wengi ushaidia tu wakati mmoja walikuwa ngapi mmoja ah wacha umeniwekea mtego 
At the same time, yeah. I think you need two time. Bado mtu wako na mchezo mingi pale. Eh walikuwa tu wawili. Wawili tu. Eh wawili tu peke yake. Double deal. Eh mpe ah siku double. Wewe unasema vibaya. Nilikuwa na appreciate each and every lady independently. Eh. Ah. Aguku denza eh. Yeah. Sasa juzi walikuwa na kufukuza kwa nyumba manini nilikuwa na hapo. Juzi kwanza watu kwanza wakani eh hey, lakini wa Kenya wa Kenya ni wazuri wengine pia ni wabaya. Wengine wakaniambia oh oh unafukuzwa nyumba siuze masuti hizo zenye wao unavaa ulipe nyumba kumbe huko nje ni suti tu na eh hey, jameni. Now what I was doing with that video yes. mimi sikufukuzwa kwa nyumba. What I was trying to do I was just sens- uh, sensitizing the whole country on uh, you know unlock the country you know. Mm-hmm. When the country is unlocked we as entertainers with there's lots of business for us because mm-hmm. it doesn't be uh, you doesn't have to be a performer. Hata mm-hmm. kuna wale wenye wanapikanga tu chakula kwa my events. Those people they need events to survive. Mm-hmm. Kuna wale wenye wanakatanga tu tickets kwa gate pale. They need events to survive. Uh-huh. So right now come my places are events, hotel, clubs, zote you know they are persona non grata. Mm-hmm. So where utatapata pesa wapi? So I was just trying to sensitize the country. Uh-huh. It might not be happening to me, uh-huh. but I'm sure kuna mtu akona pasta wake pale anasikia vibaya mahali kuna ka mtu akona sister yake mahali your father your mother. It's happening. Mm-hmm. Mm. So that is what I was just trying to tell the whole country to know what's happening. Mm. Unaona? Yeah, je, uh, uh, to unlock the country. <laughs> eh, <ifo. laughs> Lakini hawaja kufukuza bado. Ah, hawaja nifukuza bado niko Mungu God's grace imeko sufficient bado. Niko na mjukuu wa kukudenja Uh, 1000 number 1697 and 97 Bas. out of 6000 222 wanaongezwa wakiongezeka wanapewa kadi size eh yes kila mtu mwenye alikuwa na anaongezwa pale kadi yako lazima uwe nayo na jina pia inaingia kwa kitabu unaniambia kila krisini uenda alafu entrance Yeah, kila kila krisi, hey, sisi Christmas naona watu wanasema wanaenda uh, wanaitwa nje reunion ama sisi it's not a reunion sisi it's an event fully fledged event inashinda event za sasa fully fledged event vile tu eh that's why nasikia <laughs> president alikuwa anasema no during this corona stay at home sisi tuki stay at home jameni it's even worse it's even worse ama they'll tutembe <laughs> Uh-huh. You have your a degree in communication. I have my I have a degree in communication and I have a degree in PR. Wacha. Mm. Sio sio ile wajaka ile ya ukweli. Ile ukweli ukweli. Ile ukweli yes. I went to school did my first degree mass communication nikamalizana nayo. You are a scholar. I'm a scholar. You are a scholar. Bas. Mm. Why, mm. why why are you not practicing you are doing things on online well, what are, what are those uh, yeah. this is what i love doing really? this is what i love doing i love making people laugh mm. hii ndio kazi napenda kuchekesha watu twende mm. tu eh, in fact <laughs> it's one of the jobs yenye babangu mpaka wale waje amini ati ni kazi unasikia na kupiga simu eh zile kuruka ruka yenu mshalipwa <laughs> He has never believed it's a job. So but we love it. This is what we love doing. Una. Like nikisikia mtu amefanya like you know two degrees. Ina maana kama umetoka katika familia mbaya inaamini katika elimu. Yes. My father my father believed in education kabisa. Watu waende shule usome what you want to do after kumaliza shule hiyo ni wewe. Sasa ndugu yangu unaenda kuambia babako atasema mimi nda kuchekesha watu sijui kwa mtandao sijui chachi luko. How was that? Did you experience that again? I think my father was uh, babangu ndio wale wenye walikuwa wanani support sana tukianza sana when you talk about migori in 2012 nika ingia Nairobi for the first time ulikula in 2012 in Nairobi when you am kuja juice na mnasumbua in Nairobi mimi nimekutana na statue ya tomboy hapa 2012 for the first time eh <laughs> Na hiyo 2012 eh ni babangu ndio sasa unaona hiyo time bado ndio nimeingia ndio naangalia am I funny what, what can I do eh, can I go on Churchill unaona yeye ndiye alikuwa anatumia pesa ya transport ya kwenda Churchill audition each and every week Ukali Yes each and every week nimepiga eh mase hii wiki sina ka kitu nitumie tu kafea so you know I stay in Rongai hiyo yeah. time Yeah. Usaf, ule unaitwa usafiri. Usafiri. Traveling. Bas. Eh. Hey. Anakupea 500, anakuambia survive nayo siku tatu. Ndio. Unajua chachi ulikuwa unaenda audition day one ukipita unaenda ya pili tena and then so it was a whole lot of thing but my father supported mm. me sana. Mm. But all he used to say maliza shule kwa kwanza. kwanza. Hey. You do whatever you want to do ukitaka ku Degree unatumia sasa ama? Degree uh, naona nitaitumia kazi ki, kitokea pia tunaweza itumia mm. Mm. why not tunaweza chekesha watu wa Kenya na turudi kwa ofisi tu vice suit yes i tried once and then what happened i went for an audition a uh, nilienda kwa interview not audition nilienda kwa interview za kazi zinaitwa interview za yeah, kazi ni interview yeah. <laughs> Is a kazi ni interview audition. 
So ndio hiyo nime nimeitwa interview nikaambiwa nikaambiwa yeah you supposed to come for interview tomorrow nini nini so I show up in the morning. Mm. So kesho okay, kufika eh napata watu kwa line pale nini nini so eh, watu wanaitwa one by one one by one kuingia pale ndani napata panel of five uh, uh, five five uh, five ladies uh, yeah, yeah. wao ndio walikuwa wako kwa panel uh. eh, so kuniona the first thing is ah akukudenza <laughs> you are here tuchekeshe kwanza <laughs> now that so you see i don't know what to do should i entertain them or <laughs> na nikikataa hiyo pia naweza sitapata nitakosa kazi ilikuwa ni kazi ya corporate communications corporate <laughs> yeah pr yeah so i went to look for a job as a pr <laughs> so kufika wakaniambia ah ni wewe atakuku ni wewe tuchekeshe kwanza mpaka they had to introduce me when they actually introduce watu aya toka nje tutaku introduce vizuri <laughs> Oh my god. Niliwachekesha. Na kazi ulikosa. Nilikosa kazi. Kabisa kabisa. Eh. Kwa kweli. Ukifanya zile comedy zako pale kwenye eh. mtandao, huwa eh. unaweka a hashtag said by a drunken man. Yes. What is that about? Said by a drunk man is a show mm. I realized mm. Kenyans there are some contents that we Kenyans are not ready to receive. Okay. Yes. Okay. There are some contents that if you could go on stage and talk about them, people find them funny but they still be like mm, you get so i said okay what is it said by a drunk man could be a good concept yeah let me tell them i'm drunk because you know hata uko back in the village you can have the drunk people wale wenye wanalewa usiku wanapita you kulikuwa na yule mlevi mwenye mlikuwa mnajua hata sana ya usiku mnajua mkisikia tu sauti yake mnajua ah ni nani ndiye anarudi nyumbani so i said why don't i flow with this because uh, uh, under the pretext of you know a, a drunk man i can say whatever i want to say the content that i want out there oh, yes. yeah, without some people feeling some ki- type of way like mm, because kenyans we some of us are still reserved sana mnasemekana lakini pia kuna ma comedians wengine mnapenda matusi sana yes uh, kuna pia wenye wanapenda matusi but my kind of content uh, si content chafu uh, na pia uh, si content uh, ya ku <laughs> <laughs> si ile yenye ziki laweza kuja kunitafuta vile uh, pia iko uh, hapo uh, yeah yeah so said by drunk man that is just the concept that i got it i mm. wanted to yeah so if i say it mm. it's not me a kukudenja uh-huh. it's the drunk man who is talking inside a kukudenja oh yeah. it is not manake wao meshika so it's just a character yeah wao meshika ile wani tumbla ile yes. wakati unafanya hiyo ya hiyo comedy yes nataka tufanye nini eh eh twende stage twende stage twende stage eh eh twende stage ni pe topic ni kwa topic ni pe topic slay queen slay queen slay queen mm-hmm. nairobi nairobi na covid 19 na covid 19 You may say my email what Tessa Slay Queen see Nairobi vibes and I tell Slay Queens each and every day date a guy who you know will always come through for you no matter what. Uh. Eh usite napata ngama Slay Queen siku hizo wanaita mtu oh daddy oh mm. daddy daddy let me make it clear daddy is a name you give to someone uh. who can who, who has responsibilities ni mtu mwenye ukimpigia simu mwambie hey baby sija kula lunch ting ting amekutumia saa kumi. Eh hapo naongelea kukudenza and above. Uh. Eh mimi ni mtu mwenye uki nipigie simu hii time ya corona ati oh baby ting ting confirmed go and have lunch sio hawa kila sijui kevin jonte yobra msichana anaita msichana ati daddy daddy na ukimpigia simu ati babe sasa ati poa sija kula lunch mbona ati babe gas yangu imeisha hey, kumbe tuko wengi mko wengi na nani yeah. mko wengi na nani yeah. Nakuliza. Yeah. Masponsorship sasa wako mambali na ma wives. Sasa hizi sasa sasa hizi ukiwapigia simu ati beba I miss you. Mm, yeah. unasikia kali. Kali kali yeah. sana. Bibi yako hapo. Bibi yako hapo kando yake ati beba. Yeah. Yeah, ati beba I miss you. I haven't seen you for the past two Jino weeks. Like kali sana. Kali kali. <laughs> you know because sasa things are hard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm. Saizi hata fair 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 saizi at least jeje so, alifu, alifunga alifunga Nairobi. Eh hey, fair tumesaidika sana. Atutumi mingi sana. Eh. Juu tunajua hapa Nairobi kicheza sana 500. Maana kesa sasa mnaingia na Kiambu, <laughs> mnaingia na Guru. Na Guru. Masaku kienda sana. Bas hapa eh. machakos. Eh, eh bas eh. wendi mbali sana. Eh. eh. Na hapo ndio sijui kwa nini wanaume wako na shida ya kutuma. Let, let me talk about the issue of fair kidogo tu. Ongea. Okay. Hii story na fair I want to talk about. Hii kitu ati wewe una sikia mtu anasema what is the problem kutumia mstana 3000 umeambia baby girl hello eh. come and see me eh. what is the problem kutumia mstana air ticket hata kula cool air ticket kuna kuna ule mm-hmm. hiyo story ilikuwa hapo juzi juzi hapa eh. msichana mm-hmm. ali 
tumiwa fan na ni kisumu ni kisumu eh kisumu mnacheza kisumu hatari kisumu we don't joke you don't just assess kisumu we don't joke so si ilikuwa ni mambo ya ndege na ndege ehe akakuja kwa jamaa Nairobi dem salchota do kumbe jamaa anaka pesa chini sio madras chini ya madras sasa hey unajua hapa ikikuja kwa fair ukitaka kutuma fair kwanza angalia unatumia nani fair kwa mrembo yule unaanza tuma ya mtu fair asikule lakini arudi kukula hii kwa nyumba hapa. Na yule alikuwa mrembo. Eh lakini huyo mtu pia si mtu wetu because sisi as loose we don't send fair. Mimi from Kisumu. Ah ah huyu si wetu. Ah sisi kama tuwezi tuma driver afadhali tukuje peke yetu. Oh. Eh afadhali ni tume driver driver the driver hata kama ni wandudhi. Hata kuchukua tu. Kabla ukuje tulikuwa tunasema eh eh Watu wamesema relationship kama ina pesa saa hii. Mhm. Wacha ikae. Nikani na wauliza. Mm-hmm. Basi percentage ya pesa as in mm-hmm. when it comes to a relationship mm-hmm. pesa unaipatia asilimia ngapi? What percentage? Mm-hmm. Watu wameipatia 99%? Uh-huh. Watu wameipatia uh-huh. eh wale wameipatia 100? Uh-huh. Kuna wale wameipatia 50%? Uh-huh. Na kuna wale wamesema bora trust pesa chana nayo bora mapenzi wewe unaambiaje mimi money is very money is very important in a relationship yes very very important hakuna usichukue msichana wa mtu alafu unataka kumweka na shida ati oh baby girl you know what i want a lady who I can grow with i want a lady who I can suffer with you go and do the suffering alone after you are done ndio unarudi unatafuta msichana ladies were not made to suffer <laughs> tell them ladies were not made to suffer <laughs> look for money mm. yeah, if you kama una pesa go be something else yeah, but look for money first Eh ndio utafute msichana. I'm a, I'm a believer in that. Eh yeah. yeah, jua mweka kwa nyuma timu mpendana lakini hakuna sapa kwa nyuma. <laughs> no, let's talk about that. Yeah. Do girls fear you? Wanaona kama labda vile akasema yeah. tu iko kwa damu kwamba uta mm-hmm. ukiwa na katika mahusiano mm-hmm. utaongezea ongezea. To be honest that is hii uh, imekujanga mara mingi sana. Unapata unakatia msichana and then after some time they're like <laughs> akuku danger. <laughs> so me mi, mi namba ngapi already? Unaona so there is that. There is that in as much as unaweza kuwa genuine mm. ukwe, ukweli na yeye umwambie yo it's just you. Eh hey, it's just you but they're like mm mm mm. mm. Utapanga kuleta wangapi after mimi. Mm. So it's it's something that keeps coming up each and every time yeah. So uh, <laughs> shukran sana baba. Yeah. Waambiwa kwa tilia kwenye mitandao ya kijamii. Yeah, mnaweza nifuata kwa namba yangu ya Mpesa 07. Yeah. <laughs> All right, follow me on Instagram, it's a kukudenja on Facebook a kukudenja the comedian. Eh, hey, tupatane pale on my YouTube a kukudenja TV. Let's talk there. Okay. Yeah. Tukambele pamoja.